My name is Danny Weitzner. I'm Deputy Chief Technology Officer in the White House. I work on internet policy issues. President Obama's very first executive order when he took office was an instruction to all federal departments and agencies uh, to make transparency of government information an absolute priority. And so what you see is the creation of the data.gov uh, initiative, which gives citizens a one-stop place uh, to go to look for information uh, that comes directly out of government agencies. This is raw data, it's unfiltered, it's not edited, we don't spin it, we don't clean it up. Uh, it's a view into how the government's actually operating, and it's a platform on which people can build uh, applications and services both to provide useful tools to citizens and also to increase accountability for government. And we're seeing across a number of different agencies uh, the use of these tools, the use of open data uh, uh, to really bring the government closer to citizens uh, and to help citizens participate uh, in the process of governing this country. You know, the Internet has become such a critical part of our society for our democracy, for our economic development, uh, for the global, uh, global innovation uh, that we really want to be able to encourage. Uh, the internet, uh, internet industries create jobs at four times the rate of other industries. Uh, the internet, as we all know, has transformed our democratic process. The internet is transforming the healthcare system. It's transforming our energy uh, usage, our conservation efforts and it's going to be a key part of transforming uh, our educational system. Uh, for all these reasons, we felt that we have to really take seriously the challenges of Internet policy, such as privacy policy, cybersecurity on the Internet, protection of intellectual property, and in many ways, probably most importantly, assuring that we have a real global free flow of information so that the Internet can, can continue to grow and flourish. What we saw in the campaign is that uh, the power of social networks, uh, the power of, of, of mobile technology is absolutely critical to individuals' participation in the campaign process, in the economy, in education, uh, uh, all kinds of, uh, of arenas. And what we've learned is that people want to know that they can participate publicly, that they can interact publicly, but that that information won't be misused against them. It won't be used unfairly against them. It won't be used to deny them jobs unfairly. It won't be used to deny them credit or insurance. So what we've learned really is that we need to take a whole new approach to privacy protection uh, so that people will continue to participate in these online environments. We've seen how critical the internet and, and mobile networks are uh, for people to realize uh, uh, the goals they have in their lives, to, 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 to make their, their lives and their communities and their, their societies work better.